First thing you want to do is just pour a little scotch. You know, just something to kind of chew on. I'm going to go ahead and get some water going. You're going to be bowling your potatoes and making these mashed potatoes. This actually calls for garlic mashed potatoes. So I'm going to show you how I make garlic mashed potatoes. You take that, rub a little bit of butter on there. I've got my oven going right now. Getting it good and warmed up. I think I got it set on about 350. All right. So I'm gonna take this cookie sheet with some aluminum foil. I'm gonna roast this garlic. We'll stick that in the oven. Just kind of let it do its thing for a little while. All right, we're gonna peel the potatoes. Get trash bag ready. Now we're gonna actually cut these potatoes up into cubes. This is for further mashing. All the potatoes are chopped up. Go ahead and put them in the water. Crank it up all the way. Yeah. Start boiling those potatoes. We're gonna strain these potatoes now that we're done cooking them. Whew. Nothing like a potato facial. All right, don't do it too much, I'm losing potato. So we're gonna let that sit for just a second. Smells to me that the garlic is probably just about right. Hmm. What do you think? I think the garlic's good. Let that melt down on there. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna take our potatoes, go ahead and put them in a bowl now. Man, hey, that's good stuff right there too. That's like the creme de la creme of potato. Potato porn. Mm. Yeah. Add just a little bit of milk first. Go ahead and add some butter. Take a fork. We're gonna stir all this around. You know what? I think I want to put all this garlic in here before I get it too mashed up. So we're going to squeeze out the garlic out of our bulbs. My goodness. You know what? Yeah, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and get all the paper, the garlic paper, out of here. Being the garlic freak I am, I'm gonna use like that whole bowl, except for the ones that got a little overdone. Oh man, and it's beautiful. We're gonna blade through it a couple times, chop it all up. You know what? That's good. This is going to mash up inside the potatoes. Well, that's garlic mashed potatoes. Let all that infuse together. Yeah, I mean, just something about that size is good. Any garlic that's on there you want to maybe stuff back in there? Man, you, well, that's kind of big.
Oh, that turned out perfect. We can make one to test on, make a small one. All right, these are going in the freezer for 30 minutes. If you hear that baby crying in the background, we have a six day old baby. Thank you. So we're gonna make the horseradish sour cream sauce for the boxies now. Really just gonna make it to taste. And I'm making it in this Tupperware thing so we can save it. Cause you know, it's good enough to actually dip about anything into. Some sour cream. Now I'm gonna take two spoons of horseradish to start off with. Shake up some Worcestershire and give it just a little bit of that. Alright, my timer just went off, so I'm pulling these boxes out of the freezer. Alright, once I got my test piece going. I saw that the oil was doing real well. I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. I ended up having to cut my box. These a little bit smaller. They cooked a little bit better once I did that. 